Hello there. <laughs> hey, light it up, man. Light it up. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, obviously, you guys know me from the channel if you're new to it. My name is Ellie Moses, a 24 year old law and film student here in Sydney, Australia. Absolutely shitting shot. And yes, this is my sister, Sophia. One of them. But yeah, she's very excited today because I'm going to be showing her Star Wars for the very first time. As you guys know, I'm a massive Star Wars fan. I've been reviewing the Acolyte episodes weekly at the moment with my shorts. And yeah, Star Wars is in my DNA. I live and breathe Star Wars. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. But it's time to show um, the newer generation, the first ever Star Wars film that was ever released, the way George Lucas intended it with A New Hope back in 1977, a much simpler time, back when the fan base, you know, was united <laughs> and the fandom was not in disarray as it currently is. Whether you like the new content, whether you dislike the new content, I think we can all agree that the fan base um, is not the same as it was um, back in 1977 when the originals were released. So I'm here to show her um, a new hope for the very first time. And hopefully this reaction will bang and do well. Sophia, introduce yourself, man. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I think, yeah, this will be, so, this will make for some prime reaction content as, you know, Sophia overreacts to everything <laughs> as I live with her and she is my sister. So I know this stuff. Okay. So yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, we're going to watch Star Wars and you hope for the very first time, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to watch this reaction for the very first time. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it and let's absolutely smash this thing. Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. All right. Subtitles on or off? I don't care. What do you prefer? None. None? I like to focus really? on the picture that's right. going on. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, back when Star Wars was united. I haven't seen these ones in ages. Like, ages. A new hope. Damn. You gotta take into account this was released in 1977 as well. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it is phenomenally made for the time and still holds up better than most films today. I promise. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, hell no. Nah. Why? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh, subtitles on. I'll turn them off. Actually, I'll leave him on. Yeah, I don't really Just care. in case. So these versions, uh, the version of this film has actually been edited so many times. Or like, this is, this is I'm watching this on Disney Plus, so I'm not sure um, how altered this version is to the, actually the original one. That's my boy. Damn. That's my boy. Sounds like he has asthma. You know who that is, right? Darth Vader. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a diplomatic mission. If this is a consular ship, where is the ambassador? Oh my God. Tear this ship apart until you found those plans and bring me the passengers. I want them alive. So good, man. So good. So good. Oh my, you stupid. What? <laughs> Silly. Who? Uh, Why? Why would you run out like that? Did that listen, man. What listen. did you expect to happen? Listen. <laughs> What is she gonna do? It's like a 6v1. Yeah, but you had the gun. You shot the first one. You could have just did a little. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Don't you call me a mindless philosopher, you overweight glob of grease. Now come on before somebody sees you. What? <laughs> you overweight glob of grease is crazy. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not getting in bed. Even the droids catching strays. I'm going to regret this. 
this. Those are my favourite. Also, in the comment section, let me know what age you guys were introduced to Star Wars. Sophia's 16, so... <laughs> Not a bad age, I guess. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away! <laughs> Holding her is dangerous. She must have hidden the plans in the escape pod. Set a detachment down to retrieve them. See to it personally, Commander. There'll be no one to stop us this time. Yes, sir. I've just about had enough of you. Go that way. You'll be malfunctioning within a day, you nearsighted scrap pile. Ooh. And don't let me catch you. <laughs> you burn. Over here! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Oh, hell no. What? What the heck is that? I don't know. <laughs> what the freak? What? <laughs> what the hell? They call Jawas. <laughs> they doing the coffin meme on his ass. <laughs> that was the first ever version of it. Those are bare children. That's a minion toy. <laughs> what the heck? I believe like all that is like little 3D models. Oh. And they've designed it to get those beautiful wide shots for him and stuff like that. It's really good. The hell is that? <laughs> It's so, I feel like every shot in this film could be a wallpaper. Like, look at that right there. Like, it, it's so good. Like, can you speak Bocce? Of course I can, sir. It's like a second language to me. I'm a All right, shut up. I'll take this. Shutting up, sir. Luke! What are you attacking my man for? <laughs> take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. But I was going into Tashi Station to pick up some power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Now, come on, get to it. Old. Damn, he just gonna leave his friend like that? <laughs> yeah? This R2 unit has a bad motivator, look! Hey, and I am C3PO, human cyborg relations. And this is my counterpart, R2. Ooh, he's Hello. shiny. Oh, he says it's nothing, sir. Merely a malfunction. Old data. Pay it no mind. Who is she? She's beautiful. I'm afraid. Oh. I'm not quite sure, Help sir. me, Obi Wan Kenobi. I think Why she was a passenger help? on our last voyage. A person of some importance, as I believe. Wait a minute. Where'd she go? Bring her back. Play back the entire message. What message? <laughs> the one you've just been saying. The one you're carrying in such <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be right there, Aunt Peru. Yeah, that's how you finesse someone, droid style. No, for real. <laughs> See what you can do with him. I'll be right back. He's like, Wallahi, I'll play the whole message if you take it off. And he's like, Nope. You should consider playing that message for him. No, I don't think he likes you at all. No, I don't like you either. Aww. 
Why is she you know, dressed that normal? We bought might have been stolen. What makes you think that? Well, I stumbled across a recording while I was cleaning him. He says he belongs to someone called Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay. Why is she dressed normal? They ran out of stuff in the wardroom yeah. department. Like, Do you know what he's talking about? Luke's just not a farmer, Owen. He has too much of his father in him. That's what I'm afraid. Daddy dead. Wait, what'd you say? Is his dad dead? So good. Ew. Main character moment. What'd you get from that scene right there? Like, I, I want your interpretation of him looking out at the twin sons right there. <clears throat> like, I just want, I, I, cause I have my explanation of it and I heard someone break it down beautifully um, because they talked about like, they use this term and it's called um, verisimilitude, uh, verisimilitude, I think. I think it is. And it's like basically um, means that something is real, making something feel real. And immediately here in like the first, um, 20 minutes of this film you have fantastic set design that's all practical that's all tangible um and it immerses you in the world of star wars as well and you get these beautiful extreme wide long shots of the scenery on set locations some beautiful as well 3d models um with the little jawas and their little ship as well um and obviously the little sort of like igloo looking thing on tatooine um their residence with his uncles and auntie right here um and immediately off the bat or like besides the first five minutes you spend the remaining 10 to 15 minutes with these droids and immediately like you're immersed in this world you're not seeing humans you're seeing droids you're seeing aliens and you're like oh you're, you it's like it's fantastic world building then obviously you get this shot at the end right here um with the twin sons and him you know going on the platform and looking into the um into the horizon so i want you to like what do you think it means there <clears throat> well basically in my professional opinion I believe just be a what? <laughs> a pick me go. What does that mean? It means being an attention seeker. What? Why are you out looking at the suns for? <sighs> okay, he so wants people to notice him and wow, his spiritual journey. This is his story. He wants to be the main character. Okay, you're waffling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I I immediately like I I um resonate with him. Like whether you're a boy or girl, you can resonate with him. Like he's a 17 year old kid um who's clearly been stuck on this planet for a long time. Um and he just wants to go out there and explore the world. He wants to go. Um and he's just received news that you know he has to be here for another season. All of his friends are gone, as his auntie said. Um and then you get this shot of him looking into the horizon and it tells you so much with his facial expression that I want to get out of here. I want to. There's a whole another world to explore. There's a whole another galaxy to explore. That's what I get. And I can resonate with that as well because, you know, part of my dreams is I want to leave Sydney as well and explore the world um, and chase my dreams. So in a way, you can resonate with the main character of the film already in the first 20 minutes, something which some films nowadays fail to establish in a whole two hours. And mm. some shows fail to do in like a whole, you know, eight to 10 episode run um, is, you know, resonate with the main character of the protagonist itself. That's just my thought. That's my thought as well. <laughs> That is exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, 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 on, on, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah alright, bet. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell is that? I must have missed this in my history lesson. Huh? Oh. I said I must have missed this part in my history lesson. Because <laughs> what the hell is that creature? They're sand people, alright? I can see one of them now. <laughs> What the hell? Bro just got rolled. Obi-Wan, 
Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. I think my uncle knows him. He said he was dead. Oh, he's not dead. Not yet. Do you know him? Well, of course I know him. He's me. <laughs> oh, plot twist. Plot twist? <laughs> Obi Wan, since all before you were born. You fought in the Clone Wars? Yes. I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. Like, when you watch everything in the grand scheme of things, and like, because I haven't seen this film in a long time, and I've been watching the Clone Wars, like the cartoon, um now at the moment for like the fifth time um like it, these interactions are just so much better in the grand scheme of things like mm. once you realize what all goes down once you happen what happened like once you realize what happens in the bigger picture when you watch all the films these interactions just hit so much more and like that's why i'm just like watching these interactions out here between luke and obi-wan kenobi and i'm just like i'm just like oh damn like if only you knew if only you knew what happens if i guess you'll find out <laughs> he was the best star pilot in the galaxy and a cunning warrior i understand you've become quite a good pilot yourself and he was a good friend so good so good he feared you might follow old obi-wan on some damn fool idealistic crusade like your father <coughs> sir if you'll not be needing me i'll close down for a while sure go ahead <laughs> Clumsy or random as a blast. Oh. Elegant weapon, but a more civilized age. For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace and justice in the old Republic. The Listen, if I saw that in 1977, like I know the visual effects look a bit wonky now, but if I saw that in 1977 for the very first time, I'd have been like, oh damn, what the heck? That's damn, actually crazy. What is that? So like if you're looking at it through the lens of someone watching it in the cinemas for the first time in the 70s, I would have been like, I want to own one of those. Like that's actually insane. And look, we have three at the moment. <laughs> but like, I'm just saying like the visual effects still kind of hold up for the time. It's actually, you got to take into consideration the time period as well. Before the dark times. Before the empire. Your sad devotion to that ancient religion has not helped you conjure up the stolen data tapes. Ooh. We're giving you clairvoyance enough to find the rebels' hidden fort. <laughs> That's baddie behavior. Disturbing. Enough of this. Vader, release him. As you wish. <clears throat> this bickering is pointless. Now Lord Vader will provide us with the location That's what you get from of the rebel forces by the time this station is operational. We will then crush the rebellion with one swift stroke. Only Imperial stormtroopers are so precise. Oh, but why would Imperial troops want to slaughter Jawas? They killed the minions. <laughs> if they trace the robots here, they may have learned who they sold them to, and that would lead them back home. Oh, wait, Luke. It's too dangerous. Ooh, why he running like that? The music is so good. The music is phenomenal. Phenomenal. No. What? That's personal. <laughs> he actually sounds like he's snoring. <laughs> That's what's so iconic, the breathing. <laughs> Boy, what the hell? Like, I can't fully explain why he breathes the way he does yet. Like, I can't. I love how there's like three little Jawas there just lunched over. <laughs> Imagine they got the news of what happened to their boys. <laughs> what a banger. Oh. 
What the hell? Oh, hell no. Well, I love to see diversity. <laughs> diversity quotas tick. <laughs> You have like a hundred different species in this one cantina. So good, so good. <laughs> what the hell is that? We did. This little one's not worth the effort. Come, let me get you some. Oh! Why are we getting violent up in here? You don't mess with the lightsaber. <laughs> like, you don't... <laughs> like, all it takes is a little poke. And nobody gaps! <laughs> Han Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Chewie here tells me you're looking for passage to the Alderaan system. Yes, indeed. If it's a fast ship. Fast ship? You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. I almost buy our own ship for that. Ten bags. He's <laughs> gonna fly it, kid. You? You bet I could. I'm not such a bad pilot myself. I'm not gonna sit here and listen. Sit your ass Even down, down boy. Now, plus fifteen when we reach Alderaan. Seventeen. Would that do that for long? Yes, Greedo. As a matter of fact, I was just going to see your boss. Tell Jabba that I've got his money. Song Pichale. What is this mafia <laughs> element of? Cover my dead body. Yes, I bet you have. And nobody cares. <laughs> I have a question. Who do you reckon shot first there? Han or Greedo? I reckon he's the, the other one shot first. Okay. Han shot first. It, it was this like massive debate between Star Wars fans that they've like re-edited this scene so many times. And I think this has been edited on Disney Plus here where they shoot at like the same time. But in the original, um, I think Han shoots first. Like it's the OG copy. Han shoots first. But there was this massive debate about who shot first. Well, like, it makes sense for him to shoot first because the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like it, in here, I haven't watched the Disney Plus version. Um, and it seems like it, it was like simultaneous the way mm. it's been re-edited. Um, but yeah, you know, that's Harrison Ford. But you know Harrison Ford? We're just going to move. You know, in Indiana Jones. That's I know him. Indiana Jones. That's him. I can't believe... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what the freak? What? What is that? What the heck is that? <laughs> Look, Java. Even I get boarded sometimes. You think I had a choice? But I got a nice, easy charter now. I'll pay you back, plus a little extra. Why is he like rubbing time. up on him? Sorry? Why is he rubbing Why up on him? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta nice him up before you pay him up, you know? Oh, I see. Just to buy a little bit of more time. <laughs> Wonderful human being. Alright, man, load your <laughs> coming in. They're gonna try and cut us off. Why didn't you outrun him? I thought you said this thing was fast. Watch your mouth, kid. You're gonna find yourself floating home. 
What's that flashing? The loosener deflector shield. Both strap yourselves in. I'm gonna make the jump to light speed. Damn. Light speed, baby. Light speed. Continue with the operation. You may fire when ready. What? You're far too trusty. Dantooine is too remote to make an effective demonstration, but don't worry. We will deal with your rebel friends soon enough. No. I'm confused. I thought Darth Vader was like the... No, there's a hierarchy. <laughs> I thought he was the hierarchy. <laughs> Her home planet just done like that. Billions of lives lost. Just like now. That's the Death Star, baby. That's the power of the Death Star. I felt a great disturbance in the Force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror. Oh, he suddenly felt silenced. that. I fear something terrible has happened. Oh, it's not wise to upset a Wookiee. But sir, nobody worries about upsetting a droid. It's because a droid don't pull people's arms out of their sockets when they lose. Wookiees are known to do that. I see your point, sir. I suggest a new strategy, R2. Let the Wookiee win. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. I think I can get him before he gets there. He's almost in range. That's no moon. It's a space station. It's too big to be a space station. <laughs> That's a space station phone. There are alternatives to fighting. The Death Star. <laughs> like, look how tiny they are compared to the entire station. Like, <laughs> look, look how small that ship is. It must be a decoy, sir. Several of the escape pods have been jettisoned. Did you find any droids? No, sir. If there were any on board, they must also have jettisoned. Send a scanning crew aboard. I want every part of this ship checked. Yes, sir. I sense something. A presence I've not felt since. Ooh. Get me a scanning crew what? here on the double. I want every part of what this ship checked. What is he feeling? Why is he dressed differently if he's not like? Sorry? Why is he dressed differently if he's not like the upper upper? I, I can't explain why he dresses the way he does, like why he's in that costume, because it will spoil something. Like it will spoil, like it's a big part of Star Wars. Like, I can't. <laughs> what? All right, we're halfway through the film now, or like around halfway. What do you think? Like we've gone through an hour, still about an hour left. What do you think? Like, be honest. Like, I don't care if you don't like it. I think. I don't think if Star Wars is not your thing, like, what do you think? I think it's. I do. I do get it. But what? That's because I. What do you mean you don't get it? Like, what's so confusing? Like, just. Like. Like, why is he dressed different? Sound like. Asthma. Like I can't. That's explained in the prequels. Like, so. The way he breathes sounds like me when I walk up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't explain why he breathes the way he does. Why he looks the way he does until you watch the prequels like it's all explained later on so i'm guessing like these are questions viewers back in the 70s probably had as well like these mm. these are questions viewers had as to why darth vader looks the way he does why does he breathe the way he does why does he wear that costume so like yeah um if you're looking at it through the lens of a viewer in the 70s as well they all had these questions that weren't answered till um about 23 years later when Damn. the phantom menace came out no actually um sorry Revenge of the Sith came out later than that, so nearly 30 years later, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> if I could take off, I'd never get past the tractor beam. Leave that to me. Damn fool, I knew that you were going to say that. Who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? TK421, why aren't you at your post? TK421, do you copy? Oh, he did. 
<laughs> the mics are stuffed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, get it, girl. Who? Who is he found? Princess Leia. The princess? She's here? Princess. Where? Where is she? Princess, what's going on? As soon as he found out his girl was on the ship, he's like, where he's is like, she? <laughs> get me in the action. <laughs> he's like, I'm a lock in. <laughs> Princess on the ship. <laughs> I don't know if the mic picked up what you just said. I hope We've you picked up what I just said. <laughs> the droids belong to her. She's the one in the message. We gotta help her. Now look, don't get me funny ideas. The old man wants us to wait right here. But he didn't know she was here. We just find our way back into the detention. I'm not going anywhere. They're going to execute her. Look, a few minutes ago, you said you didn't want to just wait here to be captured. Now all you want to do is stay? Marching into the detention area is not what I had in mind. But they're going to kill her. Better her than me. Ooh, period. What? I'm saving myself, fool. <laughs> You'd let the princess die. Gav? That's her duty. <laughs> Why does that make you laugh? <laughs> I can't see a thing in this helmet. Ooh, get told. <laughs> What's so funny? Somebody come collect their grandpa. That's Obi-Wan Kenobi, man. He ain't a grandpa. Situation normal. What happened? Uh, had a slight weapons malfunction. Everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. Oh, he bought that like crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, negative, negative. We have a, a reactor leak here, uh, now. Give us a few minutes to lock it down. Uh, largely very dangerous. Who is this? What's your operating number? <laughs> Boring conversation anyway. Luke, we're gonna have company. Bro fumbled that so hard. He bought that. <laughs> My queen. Your queen. <laughs> I'm here to rescue you. I've got your R2 unit. I'm here with Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi? Where is he? Come on. Take your helmet, he fool. Obi-Wan Kenobi. What makes you think so? A tremor in the force. The last time I felt it was in the presence of my old master. Surely he must be dead by now. Don't underestimate the Force. The Ooh. Jedi are extinct. Their fire has gone out of the universe. You, my friend, are all that's left of their religion. Yes, if you're right, he must not be allowed to escape. Escape is not his plan. I must face him alone. Damn. That's El Papi Chulo. El Papi Chulo. That's Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, boy folded. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like... Literally. <laughs> yeah, get out that way. Looks like you managed to cut up our only escape route. Maybe you'd like it back in your cell, your highness. You came in here, didn't you have a plan for getting out? He's the brain! We are... Boy. What the hell are you doing? Somebody has to save our skins. Damn. My queen. <laughs> Baddie alert. <laughs> Ew. 
I hope you guys enjoyed part one to my sister Sophia watching Star Wars for the very first time. I decided to cut it into two parts right now, just as I'm editing the video because it would have been over an hour long if I hadn't. And I rarely do this on the channel. I think I've only ever done it once for a Bollywood film. So I hope you guys are okay with that. And I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. She's definitely down to do more. Um, she really wants to do horror movies as well. So that would be interesting um, too, to do those horror movies in the near future. Um, however, I just like to apologize as well for the audio issues. I think partly, um, I'll take the full blame for it. I know I told Sophia before the reaction to speak into the mic loud and clearly. However, I had the mic on the wrong setting. I should have put it in the setting um, where, you know, the direction, can, uh, the sound itself can come from any direction. Um, but we just ran a heaps of tests before the recording happened and everything seemed to be fine. So I decided to run with the normal setting of the mic and I didn't want to change things up because I've been running with that setting for a while now. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I didn't want to try a new setting completely and then have all these issues in post. But yeah. I'll learn for next time, ladies and gentlemen, and hopefully you guys are cool with that. And take care. God bless. I hope you guys enjoyed part one and peace.